Welcome to the hallowed turf of Wimbledon, the venerable lawns of all England lawn, tennis and croquet club in London. A place of glorious tradition and also of quiet, almost obsessive precision. Today I want to invite you behind the scenes of this grand sporting stage. Not just the players and the rackets, but the meticulous care of the courts, the soil, the very earth upon the champions run and side. Now the grass courts of Wimbledon are not simply cut and played on. No, they are engineered with horticultural discipline akin to a fine garden, hedged with tradition and science. Let me tell you one particularly revealing detail. Before the championships each year, the team employ a process of steam sterilizing the turf. Holes are drilled into the courts and steam reaching about 70 degrees centigrade is injected into the soil to kill off lurking pests, spores and nematodes beneath the surface. Once the steam withdraws, what remains is just cold water, no lingering chemicals. This is horticulture at a forensic level. The soil is prepared, shaved, reseeded, rolled, and the grass is cut to exactly eight millimeters in most cases, using German engineered lawnmowers. Every blade, every inch of turf is cared for. A head groundsman might quote 25 tests per court each day on firmness, moisture, ball bounce, soil compaction. The teams measure not just the grass, but the very response of the surface to a ball's bounce. The moisture gradients, the wear patterns. The result? A playing surface that is both beautiful and consistent, year in, year out. There is another lesser known story. In June 2010, Queen Elizabeth II visited Wimbledon for the first time in 33 years. Security for that visit was heightened, and one anecdote suggests that prior to the installation of the retractable roof, when the champions were fully exposed to the London skyline, there was in place a sniper position in a nearby housing block overlooking the grounds. But local oral history and security planning records hint that a vantage point is adjacent to the flats, were monitored for the royal visit. Now, I must stress that detailed archival confirmation remains elusive, but local oral history and security planning records hint that vantage points in adjacent flats were monitored for the royal visit. It is one of those extraordinary margins where sport, pageantry and state security brush shoulders. So, what you walk on and what you admire from the stands is a product of not only players and spectators, but of years of invisible labour and even covert planning. The courts are steam cleaned, the turf is shaved and reseeded, the wear is simulated, the moisture calibrated, and the broil may arrive, the cameras may roll, and behind the scenes, the groundsmen are quietly orchestrating perfection. To me, this is grand design in its truest form, a seamless integration of architecture, horticulture, sport and heritage. The white lines are crisp, the grass a perfect verdigris, and the setting timeless. And yet beneath the calm veneer is a choreography of science and craft. The next time you watch the ball skim across the turf of Wimbledon, spare a thought for the invisible stewards of the earth beneath it. For in every streak of chalk, every blade of grass, lies the devotion of those who care for the opposite of impermanence. They maintain something enduring, something exquisite. I'm Kevin McLeod. Well, not quite, but you get the idea. And I'll see you for the next grand design. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. It really helps grow the channel. Thanks.